Um, so here you are, you're visiting us, and I know that you, you're focusing very much so on the Gambia. You're looking at wind turbine projects, and this is what you've already implemented. And you, you plan to push the strategy even further in that region, isn't that so? Yes, I do that. And um, I think I opened the door and the mines in the Gambia for renewable energy. And in the meantime, it is uh, one of the priorities of the country to get renewable energy as much as possible. The Gambia is capable, I know that you've said this, 80% of its energy from renewable sources. How likely is this to happen? Yes, see, I'm, uh, I'm a member of the Desert Tech Foundation. This is a, a non-profit organization and they want to help uh, countries like the Gambia to uh, invest or to have renewable energy power for the future. And um, I have convinced the organization to look at the Gambia as uh, what they call light tower project or a pilot project. And we are close to a memorandum of understanding with the government uh, to uh, look for a feasibility study to have a 50 megawatt uh, solar power plant called concentrated solar power plant, maybe in connection with uh, photovoltaic within the next years. And that could produce um, about 80% of the energy consumption okay. of the country. That's unbelievable. And we were talking about um, uh, telecoms penetration and internet penetration a short while ago. Mm. Let's talk about electricity penetration in the Gabon. Is it relatively low? Uh, what do you Pe mean? That people, w how, much, um, how many people in G the, uh, the Gambia have um, uh, access to electricity at this point in time? I think the figure is around 20%, not more. So that's relatively low. Um, I know that you've also worked very hard in terms of getting um, you know, um, the right regulatory environment to work in your favor to put up these wind turbines. Yes. It hasn't really been an easy task. Tell us about some of those challenges that you've experienced. Well, I, I started that idea yep. uh, when I retired. I went to the, Afri to the Gambia to sit there in the sun, but I couldn't. So I started uh, a small project and wanted to show how small villages which have no chance to get electricity at any time to provide them with electricity from a windmill. Yeah. And that was in 1999. The windmill was then launched in 2009, 10 years later. And it took me about eight years to get all the kind of approval, especially yeah. with the utility, to accept that a windmill was hooked up to their grid. Okay, so let's talk about it. The grid relative to having your independent grid within rural areas, what do you think the ultimate solution is? Do you think that it does need to be tied into the overall power utility in the Gambia? Yeah, all, all what we do at the moment is uh, injecting the energy produced by the windmills. New windmills are coming now. We will Hopefully we'll have about two megawatt of capacity by end of the year. And that energy is goes, di goes directly into the grid of the utility, of the national utility. What's also fascinating about this is that it's much cheaper per kilowatt hour. I think it's around 20% lower in price, so it's far more cost effective as well. Well, this is a little project in uh, Batukunku. Yeah. Batukunku, uh, that village, it was a charity from uh, my site and from my friends in Germany. And we provided that village with a wind converter and we made an installation of, uh, of cable network installing all the houses. In the meantime, about 1,000 people have electricity and uh, last but not least, the government gave the village uh, a license to produce and distribute an electric energy on their territory. That was a, a big jump and I, I think at that time they didn't know what they, what they were doing because now it is a second utility in the country <laughs> operated by the villagers. And uh, everybody is now fascinated how this can happen. And uh, now it's a proud of the country. You're at um, the African Utility Week. There's a big, you know, there's a lot of talk about uh, renewable energy versus, you know, coal, which we're very reliant on here, mm -hmm. nuclear energy. Do you believe that Africa is not utilizing its natural resources enough to, that we, we can power up the whole of the African continent so that we do get electricity to as many people in the rural areas? I think Africa has enough power, re, uh, green power, mainly the sunshine. We also have uh, hydropower, which has not been used since now. It has to be developed. 
and wind is uh, wind capacities in some countries is very high. We have wind velocities, uh, for example, in Tanzania, uh, which is uh, comparable to the uh, sea area in, in Europe. But all this has to be developed. And um, what the most important power what we can achieve is the sun power. Sun power means uh, we have to make these concentrated solar power plants which are operating as a full uh, power station, not only in times where the sun is shining. Fantastic. Thank you, sir, for joining us.